I, I, last, last time I was on here, I didn't know that Malcolm Roberts was a fellow Brit. <laughs> 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 that might have been nice. In, implicit in what you're saying is that she took steps, but John Alexander didn't take steps, Fiona Nash didn't take steps. Well, you, you, you can take whatever take steps, steps you like, Terry, but they've got to be the right steps. Well, maybe and, and that's how, that's how we re-establish trust. Because our side was right looking steps. at how you deal with this. All right, can I just and say that arguing between yours yourselves wasn't. probably won't be... <laughs> that's <laughs> right. But it was because, you know, there was some guy, some barrister in Western Australia decided to bell the cat with uh, one of the Green Senators, and it's all unravelled from that. The only we way we could change this one is having a referendum and no-one right. seems willing to do don't that. Have That's one, right. Don't, don't, don't have one of those. <laughs> right, we did that. <laughs> <laughs> Another hundred million dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this is not one to leave the universe. This is something else. <laughs> we are the home of both classical liberals and conservatives. We are the home of people who might otherwise choose to vote One Nation. Well, Nation's the home of drama. I mean, they've got more drama than an episode of Real Housewives. A smartphone, and it's always on, always listening, and you're in a boardroom and you're discussing a potential merger and acquisition, and that data is being recorded and possibly on sold. There are some serious ramifications because the company may not even know it's happening. Well, the citizen must be in control of their, their data. Uh, that is absolutely central and in very practical terms this means for instance your banking data, your energy usage data, your telecommunications data, you have to be in control. I don't know that a little country like Australia is going to change Google's global practices. There was a wide-scale rejection of, of economic modelling. Now, we can all argue... Quite rightly how, so. Well, we can all argue about <laughs> Quite how... Quite rightly so. It was terrible. We, without Thank God we have Donald today. Trump in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> He's an argument for automated decision-making, probably, at the moment. But there's a cartoon in one of the UK papers of um, all the passengers saying it's our democratic right to land this plane. And I don't care who you are, Mr Pilot, at the front there, because we think we can do it better than you, so we'll land it. And you end up with a big hole in the runway if you do that. 